The linear bifolding door is one of the most attractive and energy efficient PVCU doors on the market. In order to make sure it operates smoothly and stands up to the rigorous tests of daily use, it's important to make sure the installation is carried out to Linear's guidelines. This video will show you how. First, check the size of the door before the installation starts. You should already have prepared the aperture, so now make sure it is clean and ready to install the new door. Remove any old silicone and brush down the threshold so the opening is clean. Measure the heights, widths and diagonals to ensure the opening is equal on all sides, as well as being square. Use a spirit level and a string line to assess the level of the threshold you are working from. Temporarily place the required packers on the threshold and dry fit the sill. This will help to assess the finish level of the sill. This shows a sill that is not level. The door will not operate correctly with a sill like this, so go back and level up the threshold before you carry on. Once it is level, double check the door still has enough clearance on the height when it's installed. Before fixing the sill to the brick threshold, it must be supported along its full length. This can be done effectively by using a bed of mortar along the full sill length between the required packers. Install the sill in place and tap down onto the packers gently using a plastic mallet. The sill can be fixed firmly in place by using Spax bolts or equivalent fixings at a maximum of 600 mm centers. Pre-drill the sill and brick threshold using an SDS drill and fix into place. Ensure the fixings are not over tightened causing unnecessary distortion and check the level and bow at each step of the process. Linear strongly recommends removing all sashes from the outer frame before installing our bifold doors for the best possible results. So, unscrew the hinges and carefully lift out the sash frames. Make sure you keep all the screws in the correct order to reassemble it later. Run a silicone bead along the outer edges of each side of the sill, joining the rear upstand to Linear's unique middle upstand. This will ensure a weathertight seal for the doors. You should also cover the top of any fixings in the sill with silicone to avoid any water ingress. Lift the outer frame into position in the opening. To hold the door in place temporarily whilst you level it, loosely pack out the jams. Keep checking they are level as you go along, as this will help to avoid any potential issues in later steps. There should be no twist or distortion in the jams and they should be plumb. With the packers in place, fix both outer jams in place with appropriate fixings. Fixings should be no closer than 150 mm from corners and at 600 mm maximum centers, with a minimum of two fixings per side. Packers must be used at either side of each fixing to help prevent distortion. As you work, continue to check for any bows, as well as for plumbness and squareness. Once pushed against the sill's rear up stand, the threshold can now be fixed into place. Use appropriate fixings to secure down through the pre-punched drainage holes into the PVCU sill. A timber lat can be used to help ensure that the head is installed parallel to the sill. Fix the head into place, completing the outer frame installation. Once the outer frame is in place, perform a final check of all the measurements again. Now you're ready to reinstall the sashes you removed earlier. Screw the hinges back on in exactly the same places you originally removed them. Make sure the rollers slot into the threshold correctly as you work. For each section, use all the screws supplied for a strong and secure installation. Once the sashes are all in place, Check the basic running operation of the doors 
to make sure the mechanisms are working properly. Assess any gaps at the top and bottom, ensuring they are equal. The rolling mechanism can be adjusted to increase or reduce any door gaps. Remove the cap as shown and use an Allen key to adjust up or down as necessary. Remember to replace the cap after adjusting. Once again, check the door gaps. Before glazing, remove all beads from the first hinged sash. Take care to note where the beads are removed from. Fit the linear glazing platforms in preparation for toe and healing. Fit the glass onto the linear glazing platforms from the inside and pack it appropriately. All sashes should be toe and heel to maintain equal and parallel gaps on the head and the threshold. A full toe and healing guide can be found within Linear's bifolding door installation guide. Add silicone between each vertical platform to help keep them in place. Once the glass is in place, the beading can be replaced, starting with the shortest pieces first. Use a plastic mallet to tap each piece into place. We recommend starting in the corners and working towards the middle. Work on each sash individually, repeating the toe and healing process for all sashes and ensuring all the door gaps are equal and parallel. Now, Check the finished doors to make sure the operation is perfect. The rolling mechanism should be smooth. There should be equal gaps between each door and all the seals should be weather tight. If necessary, make any final adjustments. Any vertical door gap adjustments needed can be carried out with the use of 1mm linear packers. You can remove or add these packers from each hinged point in order to give you plus or minus two millimeters of adjustment where you need it. Remember to equally space these packers on the hinge and add no more than four in total. The latch can be adjusted using an Allen key to make any necessary alterations. The chute bolt can also be adjusted by removing the four screws and the plastic cover. Twist as necessary, then replace the cover and screw back into place. Twisting by 90 degrees will give a 1mm increase or decrease in compression against the outer frame. Check that the handles and locking mechanisms operate smoothly on each door. That the bifold action is smooth and free running. And that the locks operate correctly when closed. The door magnets are critical to the continued seamless operation of the linear bifold door, so it's important to check they are fully engaged when the doors are open. Finally, the rolling mechanism won't work smoothly if there is any debris in the door track, so make sure you clean it properly with a soft brush. Don't forget, you can also consult the Linear Bifold Installation Guide for further information about each step of the process.
The installation is now complete and the homeowners can enjoy their new linear doors. <laughs>